Hey guys, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com and today we're going to be reviewing a software known as Phone Rescue and I want to go ahead and first off thank the uh, fine team over at iMobi who produce Phone Rescue for allowing me uh, not only to check out the software and review it but also giving me an opportunity if you guys stay tuned to the end of the video to do a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away five copies of the software for you guys. I'll leave all the details at the very end of the video so check that out. Uh, first off, I just want to talk about the software itself. Phone Rescue is a data recovery for your iPhone. Uh, it's really, really an amazing piece of software. It allows you to uh, retrieve lost data as often as you want, no matter how the situation turns out. So what it can do is it focuses on 22 main types of iOS content to analyze and recover uh, in the event that your device is damaged, uh, in the case that it's a loss, it can retrieve from backup. It can get really valuable information and important information like photos, voicemails, etc., all from your, again, direct device or from an iTunes backup. So it's a really, really a great recovery software for your iPhone. Uh, and it's as simple as, first off, you plug in the device here and you can recover from an iOS device or you can do the alternative backup. So let's say you lose your device, but you have uh, a backup. You continuously back up to iTunes. Well, you can actually select an iTunes backup and get your data directly from that backup. So uh, it recovers multiple type of files. I'm gonna go over that really quickly here, show you this little picture here. It recovers tons of personal data from contacts, call histories, messages, and more. Media data like your photo library, iBooks, videos, music, and of course, app data, app documents, photos, app audio, app video, really, really great stuff here. So in this case, let's go ahead and talk about recovering from an iOS device. I'm gonna go ahead and click that here, and you can see once I do that, it allows me to see this same options here. I can choose what data I wanna recover from this iOS device, whether it's contact detail, call history, messages, voicemail, or more. You can easily uh, check what you want and uncheck what you don't want. So I can, let's see, I wanna uncheck all this stuff here. I don't want any of the app data, and I don't want the camera roll or photo stream. Let's just say I want specific things. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all these boxes right here. Um, maybe I want it's far history or notes. You can see what you, it all depends on what you want for your thing. So let's say it's something that somebody might want to back up. Uh, let's go with, first off, let's go with contacts. That's probably an important one. And let's go with it just for the sake of this video, call history. So let's say you wanted to keep all of those information. You hit start scan here. What it's gonna do, it's gonna load your device in, it's gonna scan through for these two specific things that you detailed here. So in this case, your contacts and your call history. It's gonna go through and I'm gonna let this thing scan and then once it's finished here, again, depending on the amount of data you have, this will vary, it's gonna then show you your results. And moments later, you can see that the data has been recovered here. It shows me how much contacts it got. You can see it got 125 contacts and 189 of my call histories here. Now, keep in mind, you can do this again with anything from messages to photos, video. Really, really important so that if you ever, let's say, accidentally delete something on your camera while I've done many times, you want to recover it. As long as it's been, you know, again, recently, it's, it's still in your iPhone and your iPhone hasn't been completely wiped or anything, then this can retrieve that data. It can revive those sensitive data that you may have accidentally deleted and need to get back here. And again, it can do it from three ways. It can recover it from the iTunes backup. It can recover it from the device itself, whether it's in DFU mode, let's say you have no access to the screen because the screen's broken, or it's you know it's working, you can plug in like I have now. You can even recover from iCloud. You can do so much uh, methods to recover backup information that you may need, like my contact information here. You can see if I click in it here, I get a list of the contacts that I currently have on my phone, but I can also only show the deleted contacts. So I can see only the people who are deleted, which are recovered. I can then go in, you can see here, I have an example contact. Uh, don't worry, if you call that number, nothing will happen. Um, and it shows all the information here. It even shows me the creation date on my phone. So it can show me that, I can filter the views here. And then if I wanna recover, I simply hit recovery. And what it will do is it will uh, essentially take a file and then put it into a CSV file and you can get all that data. And what's cool about it is it takes a chronological folder so you can see here and it exports it. So you can see it shows a date. I can click on it, get the contact information and get that CSV file right there. Now I can control the actual output of the things here. If I go to output settings, you can see for Safari bookmarks, I can change it if I want it to be a CSV or HTML. For messages, I can change it if I want it to be plain text or an HTML. Same thing with call history, change that as well. You're gonna change it all depending on how you want it. You can even change that save location on where it exports those files to. So it's as simple as that. Again, you choose what you want to recover. And then you can see here, if you want to exit this page, you'll say the scan will be lost. So I'll say, okay, in this case, and I can go back to the very back or the very main menu here in this case.
And again, this doesn't have to be the only way you retrieve from your phone. You can do it, like I said, via an iTunes backup. So you can see all of the iTunes backup it has for my iOS devices here, and I can easily tap on that and see the current backup date, and I can recover files that way. So it's very useful in multiple situations. Like I said, let's say you just need data such as your context messages that was accidentally deleted and hasn't been overwritten yet. Um, so you haven't done anything that would overwrite saying something that would overwrite the data. For example, if you want to get calls, you didn't answer a phone or you didn't send a message, etc. that would write over data. Then you can do it with the recover from iOS device mode. Let's say you have lost physically your iOS device. You can recover it via the iTunes backup mode like I'm at now. Uh, and, or let's say your, your device is damaged. It has a black screen. It has an encrypted password, but you don't know it. Uh, or forgot it and you have a lost password and you can't power on the Apple device here. Well, you can do it via DFU mode. You switch the device in uh, DFU mode, the factory mode, and you can recover the data that way. So there's multiple backup methods that you can do for this. And again, you get retrieved that valuable communication information from your call histories, messages, voicemail, photos, and more. You can save your settings, preferences, personal data, uh, and you know other third-party data externally on your computer. And again, you get to regain all of that information that you have stored on your personal device. Now, keep in mind, Phone Rescue is available for both Windows and Mac. So it's cross-platform in that effect. There is no Linux version, but it is available for Windows and Mac. And you can actually purchase it for a personal license for $49.99. All right, so to wrap up the review of Phone Rescue here, let me kind of break down the pros and cons as far as I see it and for my review. So pros, it gives you access to your backup data. It gives you access to files and uh, media that is very, very important to you. And I think that in itself is very priceless, being able to retrieve a accidentally deleted photo of your kid or video of your kid or messages that were important or app files or whatever it may be that are crucial to the way that you deal with everyday life. Well, that in itself is priceless, being able to get that information back. Uh, it's cross-platform as far as Mac OS 10 and Windows, so it's on the most popular platforms. Uh, it also has multiple retrieval methods, which I really, really appreciate, whether it's a recover from iOS device, select iTunes backup, or do it via DFU mode. And last but not least, it's super easy to use as you saw me walk through the process uh, in this review. Now cons, the only cons I could really think of through my process of this review and checking out the software, it is meant for data recovery, but keep in mind if somebody was to have physical access to your device, they could use the same type of software to retrieve any data off of your device if they had physical access. I mean, that in itself, if they have physical access, uh, is it's very big in itself. So this software isn't meant for that, but I'm just saying that's the real only con side I can think to phone rescue in itself. Outside of that, it's an amazing application. Uh, you guys can get a personal license, like I said, for $49.99, or you can get the family license as well available on their website. And like I said, it, it is priceless when it comes to data recovery and keeping the data that matters most to you. So all of that said, uh, definitely worth checking out. I think my overall recommendation on my overall review, definitely worth a download. If you're looking for data recovery software for your iOS device, look no further. Fairly priced, simple to use, and feature packed. So to wrap it all up, I want to give you guys an opportunity to win your own copy of Phone Rescue. Thanks again to the guys at iMobi for providing five copies of the software for me to give away. It's as simple as checking out the article down below with the review of Phone Rescue at my site at digitaldojos.com and commenting on that article how you would use Phone Rescue, whether you would use it to keep data backed up, keep manual backups, help get data off your device, whatever it is, comment down below in the article posted, not the comments of this YouTube video, but the article over on my site. You can find it in the video description. Comment on that article, how you would use Phone Rescue. And from those comments, I'm gonna give this three days, so till Wednesday of this week, uh, you guys will be able to uh, comment on the site and I'm gonna do a randomizer and then the five from the site will get picked. And from those comments, I will then uh, you know, obviously email you, give you all the detailed information to get a copy and software key. So again, this has been a review of Phone Rescue for digitaldojos.com. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below.